Mr. Speaker, I yield a minute and a half to the gentleman from Virginia, Mr. Byer. He is recognized for, was it a minute and a half? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I rise in opposition to the rule. H.A. Res 24, H.A. Res 26 are blatant attempts to undermine D.C. home rule. These resolutions are explicit efforts by members of Congress to interfere in local government. They aim to directly override the D.C. Council and dictate what D.C. residents can and cannot do on a local level. I firmly believe that the District of Columbia, like any other jurisdiction across the country, should be allowed to govern itself. I'm just confused that my Republican friends who have such a deep commitment to federalism, federalism where decisions are best made at the local level, why would they work to impede the right of 700,000 American citizens to self-govern? It's critical that we fiercely pr protect this right on behalf of citizens living in D.C. We weren't voted to be D.C. City Council members. D.C. citizens didn't ask for our say in their local matters. Uh, I trust my mayor of the city of Alexandria, Justin Wilson, to represent me ably there. And everyone else respects the people in their hometowns, their home states, to do the same. I'm certainly not here offering to overturn a local city council rulemaking in Kentucky or Georgia or Texas, but I'm sure I could find plenty to disagree with. We've got to respect the American democratic process and allow the people of D.C. to govern themselves. If we as a Congress value, respect the principle of local cell governance that make up the core of our democracy, it's hypocritical of us to revoke that right for the citizens of the District of Columbia. I urge my colleagues to strongly join me in opposing Joint Resolutions 24 and 26. Thank you, and I yield back.